Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm the show 20. So last few days, what did we do? Honestly, I don't even know. Let's see. So we did the moments first. We got the third inning program, or not the third inning program, but the third inning Keith Hernandez program done. So these moments overall, they're pretty easy. There, are, There's a lot that are multiple games. So telling six hits in three games, not really that much of an issue. All of these are multiple games, so they should be pretty simple to do. And we got an 88 Keith Hernandez, so not a bad card right there. And then we did do the Players League moments for the XP and the stubs. So these moments, I think I think we did all of these on the first try too. But these are a little bit more challenging than the Keith Hernandez just because you got to get like extra base hits and stuff like that. And extra base hits are always a pain to get. But I think we ended up doing this one pretty quick. I believe so. But those are the two sets of moments we ended up doing. And I guess that was a major thing we did this week for Team Affinity Showdowns. I didn't really play much since whatever the last no money spent was. I think Wednesday. So we didn't really play that much. But we pretty much have every team right now to at least 80, 83%. But I think overall, if I do Showdown 24 more times then we are completely done. I pretty much have to do showdown one time per team. So the main focus the last few days were, was ranked seasons, that World Series push. We got our World Series game out today if you guys want to go check that out. But that was our main focus. So we didn't really go ahead and do showdowns like I originally wanted to. So this week is just, I guess, catching up and finishing these up. So either, I, I want to say Wednesday or Thursday is the deadline to get these done for me. And I think that's a good date to get that on. Probably on Thursday is what we'll really aim for but we're trying to get that done and then we have a few packs so we have some special packs to open up but not that many overall we have six show packs two balling as a habit they come from the last two team affinities we got two silver packs a prestige choice pack so this is kind of a big one and then the prospect set three and then for the players league these packs right here these choice packs we got two quarterfinals and one semifinal so we saved them up for today and let's just open up the regular ones. I don't really expect nothing today. We don't really have anything big as far as packs goes. Some low-end ones. And we really only have seven where we actually can pull a diamond. So I'm just expecting some silver and gold players at, at max. But last, or not last, we get Goldschmidt right here. He goes for 2,100. That's not bad for a gold. The other thing that really sucks for us is these are pretty much all the packs we're going to get from showdown and team affinity because we got we got all the packs now and now we have like 81k stubs that we can get from finishing up the showdowns and that's pretty much it and then getting stubs afterwards might be a little bit of a challenge but we'll have to figure out where we can you know kind of grind out and get other stuff events is a way because there's a lot of packs and stuff you can get through that get a couple silvers right here let's open up the ball and as a habit they've been pretty kind to us you know we've gotten i think five diamonds out of all the ball and as a habits we get a gold right here in Staten. He goes for 2K, so that's not bad for a gold card. Last ball in is a habit that we might have for a while. And we get double golds. Turner and Sanchez, 1K, pretty much 1K. So not high-end gold players right there. Now, prospect set three. This could be nice if we could actually hit and get Miser Kalenic. But we're probably going to get one of these low-end guys like we always do. At least a mid-tier or up would be nice, even though the mid-tier are pretty cheap so yeah what what else is new we get the low end right here and we're just gonna take Sixto Sanchez I think we might end up keeping these cars you know I did have some prospects I ended up selling them all I think on Friday before like the Mother's Day Conquest came out just in case there was prospect packs in that but there wasn't there was just balling as a habit and some other stuff also have the video for that if you guys haven't done that Mother's Day Conquest yet Definitely recommend going out and doing that. Some free balling is a habit packs and some show packs and stuff like that. So, you know, packs are packs. You definitely want to go after them wherever you can get them. So, let's see. Quarterfinal pack right here. So, <laughs> I bought some players. I did buy one of these players because I do want to complete this set. This is where you guys might be like, yo, what are you doing? But we are going to take one low-end guy. Or I guess two low-end guys. And then I think we're going to take all three of the high-end guys. So right here, we're going to take... Well, we we already picked up Bo Bichette. You know, good contact hitter. Power's not that bad. He's the 86 diamond. We got Dwight Smith Jr. in the last one. Pretty good contact versus righties. Good power versus righties. So it's not a bad card. Solid vision too. 
I'm not going to take Joey Gallo because we already have the face of the franchise. And I sold my futures or what was a, a prospects, Gavin Lux. So we're going to take him right here. So those are the, the four pretty much or the three from that pack that we end up getting. And then I picked up the other two from this one. So I pretty much could save 20K, but we're just going to go after the high end guys. I feel like they'll at least be a little bit more usable. You know, McNeil is definitely a nice looking card. Great contact numbers. We got Ian Happ who has good power numbers, a switch hitter, and just generally is good versus righty. So right here, we're going to take Lucas Giolito. And then I think we have six. So we can go ahead and get that Blake Snell. So for being no money spent, going after the expensive option and getting the, the expensive three over the other ones might be dumb, but I'd rather have the guys that probably a better chance of me using than not. And I don't want another Gallo since we already have him. You know what I mean? So now we have this prestige choice pack. And first time around, we ended up taking Reggie Jackson. I actually haven't done well with this one yet, but it's only been four games. In general, I've been playing so bad in ranked season, so I can't say much about it. But for the other four choices, so Baron Larkin, I haven't really used him that much. Same with Posey. Larkin did have, I guess, a big moment today in our, in our World Series game. So I don't think he's going to be a bad card. Sandberg's one that I haven't really done well with. And then, like I said, Posey's one I haven't really used so much. So I think for my prestige pack right here, I'm going to take Mini Minoso. He's a card that I've done pretty well with. You know, for the most part, I think I hit like 320 with him. Earlier in the week, I was hitting 400, and then we just, we pretty much crumbled. But we're going to take Mini Minoso. I like the card. I think he has a pretty solid swing. And he's probably my second best player behind Reggie Jackson. So we might as well upgrade him a little bit. He'll get plus three attributes for each one. And I think that's a good pickup for us. So we get Mini Minoso, that prestige version. Now let's go into collections and I guess the program. So real quick, we'll just show off the Keith Hernandez. Because it's a free card that you can get just by grinding out the moments. Nice 88 card right here. Great contact hitter. Great defensively. Speed's kind of okay at 58. But he's a first baseman. So not much. I think for the mission, we did the extra base hits with first baseman. So that's just like grinding out ranked seasons. We ended up getting that. But if you want to do it the easy way, then just play versus the CPU. And then we got the Blake Snell little program right here so, so one thing if you do all the moments i believe this is 50 points and then the collections is 40 and the missions you can get 30 from here or you can you technically can get up to 90 so you can get 40 from these but what i did was pitch innings with the rays so that was just one game versus the cpu that we ended up doing so we double dipped on that the innings with the white Sox I actually did this in ranked seasons using minoso but then we played another cpu game so we played two cpu games I don't know if people know this or not because I think these prices are still pretty high. I definitely expected them to go down a little bit more. But you can easily get this pack right here. You can easily get 70 points and get this semifinals pack and get pretty much 30K, 35K for one of these players. So it's not that bad. And, you know, I definitely recommend if you guys haven't done that yet, if you're no money spent, whether you want to keep the players or not and go after Snell, I still recommend, you know, trying to do this and getting 70 points for this program should not really be an issue and you can get some stubs out of it. If you sold all the players, easy 50K, you know, something like that. But we are going to end up collecting it, get this Blake Snell. So we needed six of these. And like I already said, we went after the expensive options just because they're players that I see myself using a little bit more than having a duplicate Joey Gallo. You, you know what I mean? So we're going to end up collecting this. Get another ball in as a habit. So maybe that one is a little bit lucky. We get five more packs and another pack right here. So we actually get some more packs. Hopefully those hook us up with a diamond. That would make it a little bit more worth it. But we get this Blake Snell card. 95 overall. Has 93 stamina, 98 hit per 9, 105k per 9, 73 walk per 9. Got a pretty solid pitch repertoire. A 97 fastball, 80 curve, 83 change, and an 88 slider. So if you have the face of the franchise, you kind of have a general idea of how how Blake Snell is. I think he's a pretty good card. And we pretty much spent, I'll say 70K for this because we got the two expensive ones and one of the lower end guys. You could get him right now for 50K. Maybe he goes down though, you know, as time goes on and maybe other people are getting those cards and selling them. But 70K for a 95 overall pitcher who I think is pretty solid. It's not really that bad. You know, most headliners you get from packs, they go for around like 40, 50K. 
and Snell is just a little bit more expensive. So, like I said, it might not be the smartest for no money spent, but we got stubs. And <laughs> I, can't, I can't even say that because we don't even have Mantle yet, but we got stubs to spend. And we decided to get Blake Snell. So that's one of our, I guess, bigger purchases this week. But I will say this, you know, just because of that, we will try to do the collections for Tuesday. I think that's the goal right there. But I just don't understand why Gary Cole all of a sudden is 158K. Nolan Arenado's 130. Cody Bellinger's 143. My last one, who is it? DeGrom. DeGrom's 97. Like, we can, we can pick him up, whatever. But Gary Cole, Arenado, and Bellinger, they up there. And... I'll be honest. I don't know what you guys are spending stubs on. I'm spending 158 on Garrett Cole because I never see anyone using him rings. That's why I'm so surprised he's so expensive. But Tuesday, we'll just bite the bullet, pick him up. I think I've waited too long. And Tuesday is going to be the day that we do the collections and get ourselves Mickey Mantle. Another thing with doing collections, we'll get like 70K back for completing them. But some more packs. I guess we got nine more and a ball in is a habit. So. Let's see if we hit anything with these nine. Bronze player right there. Um, Yeah, let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. We get a gold, you Darvish. You know, free 1,000 right there. See in the next pack, another set of bronze players. We got six more to go. And nothing right there. It would be nice, you know. Like, I just want to hit. Oh, there's a diamond. What is this? Glasses. 11K. <laughs> not bad. Actually, kind of goes more than some players. So, that's not bad at all right there. And we might be coming to the point where we end up keeping diamond equipment and stuff like that just to build up our creative player. But we'll probably just end up selling that. So, you know, a diamond's a diamond. It, go, it goes for 11K. So that's always nice, you know. That's some nice profit. Rather see a player, but, you know, we're not going to complain about any kind of diamond. Another goal right here, Manny Machado. He goes for 2.4. So that's not bad. And then the last regular pack, another bronze. Final ball is a habit. See what we end up getting. And can we get a diamond? No diamond, double gold, Brantley and Paddock. So those are on the cheaper end right there. But those are, I guess, the packs we have remaining. Real quick, this is... See, I'm kind of in a dilemma. It's like either grind out showdown, finish that up, or grind out this event and try to get some rewards because there's a good amount of packs here too. And, you know, there's some diamond players we can end up getting. So I don't know. We might, we might try to find some time to do both. But I definitely want to get, you know, like at least 30 wins in this event. You know, that would be nice. But there is another one coming up. There's a good amount of ball and there's a habit packs you can get from this. I don't know if we go all the way up to 100 because we already are, I feel like, behind with events. So we'll have to see. I guess it depends what the next event is and what's going on. But this first event, if we can get to like 20, 30 wins, we should be all right. But I guess the main focus for this week is, one, getting Mickey Mantle so we can finally get that collection done, get that out of the way. And then we still should have around like 500K stubs left because that's pretty much how much I have to spend to get those four players I need is 500K, which is ridiculous to spend 500K on four players, but that's what we got to do. And I feel like the longer I've waited, you know, I was hoping the prices would go down and they ended up going up. Stub sale kind of messed that up a little bit for us too, but we will pick those guys up on Tuesday. And then Thursday, I guess the goal is to finish up the future stars, get that collection done. And then next Sunday, the goal is to hit level 45. So we'll get this 90 plus card. So I could wait until Sunday, but I'm going to do collections on Tuesday for you guys. And then on Sunday, hopefully we can hit level 45. We'll get a 90 plus player back. Maybe it's that Garrett Cole, a Renato. It's pretty much guaranteed at least 100K minimum. So that's the nice thing about that. We're not really going to be losing out on much by picking up a player on Tuesday. So that is the goal for this week. And we'll just, we'll try to get as much done as we can. But that is going to do it for this one. So make sure to check out our World Series game that we posted out earlier. And we're going to grind a little bit this week to get some more stuff done. So stay tuned for that. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, jump a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.